Hello and welcome back to Seven RPG. I'm Sovereign, and today we are back on our masochistic journey of taming giant animal. Today we're going to be working on the elephant. I have pre-made a buttload of nom noms for said elephant. We've gone through about 300 so far, give or take, and we're on about 10%. So we are looking at around 3,000 food. I'm continuing to craft more food as we go along. I'm already, my brain is already telling me like, uh, you're going to be up late tonight. So uh, don't think about sleeping. Now to tame the elephant, you basically do the same as the rhino. Although you don't knock out a rhino in one hit, it actually takes around about three hits at the lowest HP to knock this big bad boy out. When you have Dumbo actually knocked out, you actually can put in 50 of the food instead of 25. That's how long, how it quickly eats uh, against this torpidity as when with the rhino, it was 25 per eat. On the elephant, it's 50 per eat. Now you, this one is 49, I believe. Yes, it's 49. I wasn't gonna go for a 60 because I didn't wanna be here for a week. We're getting a decent amount of obedience. Now our taming does level quite rapidly while you're doing this. Now we're at uh, around about 500 taming. So this is the rate that is going up with low level taming. If you had higher level taming, it'd be going much quicker. That'll be your obedience bonus is much higher. So the food that we're using is especially made dry fodder again. We're using this as a constant. We're not gonna use any other type of food. We're just gonna use especially made dry fodder. I've made Made around about 2,000 of it. We're going to need about 1,000 more. We've got, I've got a couple of guild members actually making the food as we speak. And I'm making the food as well. So we've got multiple people. So I don't get stuck here until 10 p.m. tomorrow evening. Now we've been doing this for about 30 minutes. Not even that. 30 minutes included dragging it up the hill into the cage. And then uh, knocking it out and putting food in there. So it's been about 30 minutes so far. And it is at, we can say around about 10%. So we're going to be, it's still going to be a few hours. But it's definitely going up a lot quicker than it went before. I'm going to be putting cuts in the video as time goes on. So in a couple of hours, I'll come back on and I'll show you how far it's gone. And then we'll carry on going from there. And then I'll give you the final amounts of food at the end of the video for our final amount of time. And if I have any of my dreadlocks left in case I rip them all out through the sheer terror of having to tame these big boys. So we'll see you at the next update. Well, we are <laughs> like uh, two hours in and I just ran out of food and I'm losing my bloody mind. It wasn't enough food. Even though two days I spent getting, gathering this stuff and getting it ready and we're only at like, uh, what, 55, 60% and we ran out of food. But we've got several people actually just making up the food and stuff. So you're going to need way more than that. I've got the number written down for the amount we actually needed. This is at 600 taming, by the way. Um, I haven't gone and unlocked to 750 yet, which I will do in a moment once I go and get the uh, sales on the boundary marker. I'll unlock to 750 so I can level up some more. Hopefully that will speed things up a lot. And I'm not here until 10 p.m. tomorrow night again for another 20 hour tame. Hopefully that's not the case. I thought I would have learned my lesson from the last bloody rhino taming video, but it seems I didn't. So we are now stuck in this shitty situation of me standing here again. Hopefully I'll be back for the next part of this video and we'll have this elephant tamed and we'll go through the elephant stats and see whether it's worth it. We'll do a little run around, attack some NPCs, attack some horses, etc., some animals, see what kind of damage it does. And then once the, uh, the tank comes out tomorrow or this evening i think it's, e it's this evening or tomorrow once it comes out i will then do a video on the tank and what you can actually set up on it and what you can do with it etc because we're going to be we have an idea in mind of what we're going to be using it for but i want to go for everything so you guys can see it so we will be right back and we are back <laughs> it is 20 past three in the morning and we are almost tamed on this elephant it has been a lot of of food craft now we are on about 3100 of this specially made dry fodder the same one we used for the rhino and it has been an absolute bloody nightmare can't believe i actually made the same mistake again like it just drives me absolutely mental why am i such a masochist to myself now let's see if we can actually get this guy knocked out one last time slap and bonk conscious it's probably gonna need more than this but i do have two other guys still making food next to me so hopefully it might be enough once they get theirs in the box and we can put it in the actual elephant inventory and then we do have a lot of specially made food in here in the box and fine fodder and low quality fodder there just to stick in there for him to eat or her to eat him her her to eat i am absolutely bloody shattered right now and i need to go to bed so this needs to hurry up it's still not as long as the last one we're only at about five hours so it's not 21 hours so hopefully still going this is going to be running out of food here in a minute and i don't think it's going to be enough because last time we were sitting at 100 for a good while before I actually fed it and got it done. Oh, we got some people 
people have turned up with some food and stuff and things. Hopefully, they've turned up with some food and stuff and things. Although, I think he's here just to steal some sickles, it looks like, and put an axe in. Come on, mister. Now you just want to you just want to tick over. Come on. Oh, look, it's full. It's one left. Come on. Just the one. Just the one. Don't piss about like the bloody rhino. We don't need none of that today. Hey, it's going to do it again. Come on. This four. This four's got to do it. This four's got to do it. Look, it's full. The bar's full. Eat. Be tamed. Be happy. Oh. <sighs> Now, please bear in mind that the elephant is currently level 49. So when it ticks over, we will get a bump in level as we did with the rhino that I didn't mention previously because I didn't notice it. It was at 39. It jumped up to 60, I believe. Oh, no, it's 41 and jumped up to 60. So it went up 19 level and it woke up and it's going to just run around at 100% bloody obedient. I wish it had like uh, the numbers on the side somewhere. When you went into the inventory, you should be able to see the numbers of how much sort of obedience you need left so I can figure it out. But instead, it's going to drive me bloody mental. Bonk, bonk, bonk. All right. Oh, come on, come on. Don't need any more. Oh, we've got some more people turning up. Is he eating all the food? One left. One left. Not gonna tame it. Mm, it didn't work. Ugh, still got away a little bit longer. Pride myself with a little bit more sleep. <clears throat> and we're gonna try this last one. So bonk, bonk. This, this bloody great big elephant like that would normally have. Now eat, happy, be merry. Okay, someone came back from AFK after God knows how long and they came back with 55. So if this doesn't do it, I will eat my shoe. Now I just gotta wait for him to wake up. And then knock him out again. Stick this in. And we should have oh, a cure for sleep deprivation. Just sleep. But they get up really weirdly. Bonk. Or just miss. What? Miss. Get on the floor. Eat that food. Eat it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, elephant. How much food are you going to go through at 100% for you to tame? <laughs> and the land is dark. And the map. Christ on a bike. No, I won't preach you just as long. Stand, stand by. Darling, darling, stand by me. By me. Or oh, stand. Christ on a fucking merry bicycle. Ow, oh, are you going to make me read Quora things all bloody day, elephant? Find now a bit of backstory on uh, some of the Witcher characters that I don't remember in the books. So I'll catch myself up with the TV series. Is anyone else watching season two of Witcher? It's actually pretty damn decent. He's nearly gone through that entire 55 stack. Oh. Mierda. I used to live with some Italians and that's all they used to say whenever something pissed them off. Oh, it's done. Never again. Version two. Confirm. There we go. So it's alive. Let's actually get into its stomach so it doesn't die straight away. Eat. 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 Right. Drum roll on the stats. Let's have a look. <laughs> 23k HP. Uh, that is better than the bloody rhino, but it's still not great. Perhaps if we tamed an actual level 61, then it'll be much better. Stamina is 285, max speed is 660, twice that of the rhino. It's not the worst. Maneuverability is dog shite. Fullness is quite high. Carry weight is 3,500. Impact force is 1345, and its life force is 200. Again, it take two time for that to actually happen. So let's open up the gate and get on this bad boy. Mount, get out of here. I'm stuck in the roof. Let's see it go. How oh, actually. That's not a bad speed. You sprint? No, you don't sprint. What's your stamina drop like? Stamina drops quite fast. <laughs> That's what you get. You know what? I want to go hit something, but I know it's got such low life. It's just going to drop dead and I'm just going to have a really bad night. And I'm pretty damn tired. Now, this was a hell of a lot shorter time than it was making the actual, like getting the rhino sorted out. Even though we ran out of food after 2000 food and we had to craft another thousand and something food about 1200 and something food which is one minute of things so every 60 stack is an hour so it did take a little bit and there was four or five of us doing the like creating the food as we were going so it did add on it took about maybe like just under six hours maybe five and a half hours to get the elephant tamed which is a hell of a lot less it's not that bad the hp is pretty decent it's not the worst in the world i've seen better on the fair up to 30 40k definitely worth more than the rhino and once this tank armor comes out where we can actually like fit the stuff on it and fit the cages and stuff which i will be doing a video on we'll be able to actually utilize this elephant really well it does run pretty damn fast once it speeds up it doesn't have to stop to attack it's turning maneuverability is much better than that of the rhino like the rhino's maneuverability was terrible 
They need to really fix some of the stats on that bloody Rhino. But we are here. It is done. And I'll do a video over the coming days testing out its actual attacks and stuff on NPCs. Much better than the Rhino was. I just didn't, after it realized it couldn't do any siege damage or anything like that, I just kind of deleted it. So hopefully this elephant lasts a hell of a lot longer. So that's all we have today. That's how you tame an elephant. Remember to like and sub if you do enjoy my Myth of Empires content. If you'd like to support myself and the channel, we do have a Patreon set up in the description. I want to thank you all for watching. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams.